Hey everyone, Sparks back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video. Solo raid just started and I want to give you guys a few quick tips that um, I think will be useful for the solo raid going forward. We've only been able to do levels 1 through 3 of course right now and we can do mock battles of level 4 and in a couple days we'll be able to hit that challenge mode. And there's just some observations about the boss and some things that I think might be helpful for you understanding the mechanics and some team compositions and just kind of show you what has worked for me and what I think might work going forward. So um, here's a quick look at each of my teams. Um, the big takeaway here is that I have, um, of course, you know, a standard mix of like burst one, burst two, burst three, you know, <laughs> basic stuff. Um, but uh, the important thing is that I have a fire unit on each team because um, you will need one to shoot through a shield at some points. Um, my main carries. Um, are some of the usual suspects such as Alice, Snow White, Modernia, but we're also seeing the new Near units, which I think are both quite good, and we'll talk more about them later with um, A2 and 2B as well. Uh, we can take a quick look at the boss. Um, it is different from the normal interception. Basically, it's like the one that was in the Near story event, but just a lot stronger, right? So it is a wind type, and it also has um, some other things that are a little bit different about it. So other than its new near skin, the being all gray, I like that monochromatic look to it. It also has a new wind shield. So sometimes there will be a quick time event, and it will bring up this like green bubble around it, and you need to have a fire unit to be able to shoot through that, otherwise you're going to fail the quick time event. Uh, the other thing is that it has a new attack. It's a very uh, like near themed attack where it sends out all these um, big red orbs. Um, and it also has two extra parts up on the top. So it's kind of like those bumpy things. They were on the normal uh, blacksmith, but now they're actually destructible parts. So basically you can just get an additional parts damage against, uh, against this boss as opposed to um, the normal one. So it just has more weak points because as far as I can tell, the bumps don't actually correlate with it doing anything or matching any of its new abilities. So, um, what else can we talk about that? So you can destroy the guns, um, and this will stop its um, like high caliber rounds that you know you can't really see, but you just hear that like pop, 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 and it's what usually does the most damage to you in the normal interception version of it. So if you destroy them, you can stop uh, those rounds, but the guns will eventually grow back. Um, and then, of course, you'll have to either destroy them again, but you will then automatically target the mouth. So until then, your units will normally target the guns and then go to the mouth. If the guns go back, uh, it will still automatically target the mouth. Also, note that at that point, you can actually multi-hit the core and the body by aiming through the mouth if you have a pierce ability, such as on Alice or Nihilister. Uh, rocket launchers can clear the slow moving bombs that come overhead, so rocket launchers are going to be um, super useful there. And then they can also hit multiple parts with their AoE, so like the core in the middle and the two guns, and potentially even the ones up on top if you have a big enough AoE. If you fail the quick time event, um, it's going to do this big laser thing. It also has like a stunning tentacle version. Um, and that laser is probably just going to wipe your whole team in the challenge mode. Um, you know, I kind of just like sat there and let it um, attack me and see what would happen. And of course, at level four, I'm just like way too strong for it to do much. But I'm pretty sure we can count on this just wiping the whole team in challenge. So you need to make sure that you can stop that quick time event. So let's talk about some units specifically here. A2 is MVP. Um, I think A2 is going to be the best unit for this raid. Her AoE can hit all five parts on the boss, and she will just deal insane damage to it. You know, she's its weak point, she's going to do additional damage to parts, she's going to hit all five parts at the same time. And so as long as you have some healing, it's going to be incredibly powerful. And honestly, other than the high caliber rounds from the guns that you can destroy, you shouldn't really be taking damage. So I think it should be not too much of a problem to increase or, or to keep uh, A2 in B mode with just a little bit of healing, but you know, we'll see. Challenge mode might completely uh, kick our butts, but we'll see. Um, another fantastic unit is going to be Modernia. Of course, when she's bursting, um, she can multi-hit the parts, so her burst is actually a lot better on Blacksmith than um, it is on a lot of other bosses. Uh, Alice is also going to be extremely good. I mean, when is Alice bad? But, you know, she's going to be able to pierce through the parts and do, like, those multi-hits on the core and, of course, is the fire element. 
And then another kind of dark horse is Power. So I've always been a big proponent of Power. Um, I thought she was underrated and you know, you're only gonna have her if you're playing back in the Chainsaw Man collab. But if you're lucky enough to have Power, um, I have her on one of my teams. You know, she's a rocket launcher to clear those bombs. She's gonna be able to hit multi-parts. She's the um, fire um, elemental damage. Uh, so I, I think Power could be quite good. Um, I, I plan to keep her on my teams unless for some reason she just doesn't work. Quick reminder, you need a reload speed buff on her for her to be able to keep her stacks from uh, her own buff abilities. Uh, 2B is another one that's going to be good. Now, 2B is a little bit trickier to use and we'll see how good she is at clearing the bombs in uh, like the challenge mode. Um, but her burst, in theory, should be able to clear the bombs. And, uh, of course, she's going to be able to shoot through the shield and be quite tanky and just generally good. So if you have the comp to build around 2B, I think she's going to be quite good as well. Um, you can use Drake if you need to, if you kind of just, like, need a filler spot or, you know, you need that fire unit. Of course, Drake is going to give you the um, attack buff as well. Shotguns are just a little bit mid against uh, Blacksmith, though, but that's an option. And then possibly Vesti, because she's another rocket launcher and is just, you know, pretty strong in general. She isn't fire, you know, being water isn't great, but I could see potentially using Vesti here as well. Um, for my own personal compositions, I might try and work in Summer Helm, because it kind of feels bad to be using Sakura, because I feel like Helm is just better. But I feel like in this, just the way my teams worked out, um, Sakura just fit a little bit better on my teams, and also I'm theoretically going to get a lot of damage negation from her, which isn't relevant in these lower uh, battles. But you know, right now she's serving as my uh, cooldown reduction for that particular team. But we we might go to Summer Helm. Uh, Maxwell is another one that I might want to fit in. So if it turns out I really don't need healing, I could put Maxwell on the Snow White team. Another unit that I'm considering is Yulha, because again, she's a fire burst three attacker. Um, and could potentially also be a really good option to put on that Snow White team and maybe Maxwell go somewhere else. I don't know. So those are some other units that I think are worth considering. Um, all right. So hopefully these um, tips helped you out. Let me know how you're doing on the solo raid. And let's go ahead and go into the client and do a quick high quality mold poll. See what we can get out of this. I recently got a lot of fragments. Helm! Okay, nice! <laughs> I actually just pulled a helm for a viewer on stream a second ago, so nice. I think this might take my helm to maximum break, or maybe it's only two stars. But either way, helm's been on my wish list, and uh, I'm happy to have another copy of helm. Helm is a super useful unit. So let me know what squads you've thought of, if you have any questions for me, or if there are any tips or cool strategies for the boss that I missed. Thank you to all the members and subscribers, but a special thank you to all of the cultured graduates, Kikro, Alvina, Jorman Kotal, Bolkverk, Bolverk, excuse me, Lone Syndicate, Aurafly, XX, Alcara, XX, and Leveland81. Alright, catch you guys in the next video or on the next stream.